Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new here. So for today's video, I told you guys last week that I was gonna be focusing a lot more on affordable drugstore makeup, affordable makeup, shop my stash, chit chat, get ready with me. I'm be focusing a lot more on affordability, sustainability and not being so wasteful in my collection. So this past weekend I went to Ulta and I got quite a few goodies to test out for you guys. We have more than enough for several reviews actually but what y'all didn't tell me is that drugstore is getting really expensive I was like oh my god when I checked out like are you serious <laughs> so you guys want to see everything that I got what type of look I created these products and are they worth it well then definitely keep watching So I'm gonna quickly go over what I got. This is not really like a haul, sort of, but like I'm gonna kind of go over everything I got. So I picked up the L'Oreal Prime Lab Advanced Derma Primer. This is up to 24 hour matte setter. So this is supposed to be a new primer. I did pick up the NYX Bear With Me Foundation Tint because you guys said to try it. I also picked up the Revlon Longwear Makeup Combination Oily Skin Foundation to give it a go. That one's probably not new. This one's definitely not new either, but this is the Superstay 30 hour of the Maybelline. I didn't, mine was empty, so I picked up a new one. I picked up the Maybelline Superstay up to 30 hour concealer. I also picked up the NYX Bear With Me Hydrating Gel Primer. I picked up the Makeup Revolution IR IRL Finish Filter Concealer along with their setting powder. And then I picked up the NYX, um, the brow glue, <laughs> followed by the Telescopic Lift New L'Oreal Lash Mascara with their new um, Lifter Gloss from Maybelline. This is their bronze collection. And then I also picked up the ColourPop Seize the Day and Pretty Please palette. So I picked up quite a few goodies and these were quite expensive. <laughs> I was like, surprised with how much drugstore makeup is actually costing lately. But I will say these are probably still a lot cheaper than my high-end makeup that I usually shop for. And I just told you guys I really want to start focusing on more affordable drugstore makeup or just affordable makeup, reusing everything that I have in my collection, doing shop my stashes, get ready with me, Q and A's, like just trying to use what I have and stop over consuming makeup. Cause right now times are really tough and I definitely am seeing it on my platform. I'm seeing it on so many other platforms. I'm seeing it in my comment section. You guys are all saying that makeup is, makeup is getting too expensive and you guys are focusing on other things in your life. And listen, I am right there with you. So I'm gonna focus on affordable and what we already have. So, so I'm gonna skip out on these products today because I'm gonna use these products like in a different video because we're really gonna put these to the test. Since it says it's 24 hour wear, this is 30 hour wear, we're really gonna try them out. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in and we're gonna start to test out these products and I'm gonna kind of catch you guys up with life at the moment. So let's get you guys zoomed on in. Okay, so we're gonna do my brows first. I never really do a fluffy brow, but I definitely know that it's like really in. <laughs> I just feel like I suck at doing it. So so we're gonna try to utilize this brow glue today to uh, hopefully it's good. I don't know how new this is. It was like in their newer section in Ulta. So I would assume it's on the new side, but if some of these products are not new, I'm sorry. I just, it's been such a hot minute since I've actually shopped anything at the, it's been such a hot minute since I bought any drugstore makeup. So I'm trying to like get myself familiarized with what's new and what's not new. So we're gonna take the translucent brow gel and we're gonna um, start to try this out. So. I just wanted to first and foremost just like take a moment to just thank every single person who is so sweet and kind on my video that I posted on Friday. I was so scared to post that video and I was so scared to be open and vulnerable and pretty much tell you guys that like I'm struggling, that I feel like a failure and you guys were extremely overwhelming. I believe before I even got to respond to one comment, I had 334 comments, which completely blew me out of the water. I was not expecting that love. I cried a lot. Um, just because like when you're when you're very open and vulnerable and you kind of admit it to me failures even though you guys were so sweet and saying i'm not feeling what you guys have, were so freaking kind it was just really hard it was very scary because you're just admitting that you're not perfect and you have just stuff not working out for you and you know i was just very sweet to see your guys being reassuring and like pointing out the good and reminding me of the beautiful stuff that's in this as well and i really needed that and i just wanted to thank you guys for that because I started to see different perspectives that I probably wasn't looking at before and I just want to take a moment, minute just to thank each and every single one of you. And some of you guys gave me like helpful tips on helpful hints, helpful tips on like what videos you guys want to see here on my channel. And all you guys are saying the same thing that a lot of you guys 
kind of stop watching product reviews because you guys are not really focusing on buying a lot of makeup right now because money's tight, we're going through recession, things are so expensive and you guys could care less about buying all this new makeup when you guys already have so much makeup that you guys are not using already that you guys wanna consume less and it was just very much a collective. You guys were all kind of agreeing on the same thing and it was just very, very overwhelming but in the most amazing way ever. I never expected to see that much love, especially cause like, I saw so many people that I've never seen on my channel before. I pretty am familiarized with who comments on my channel and who doesn't. I pretty much recognize your guys' names because I still try to my very, very hardest to respond back to every single comment if I can. I can't get back to everyone now, but I still read all the comments if I can, at least give you a heart to let you know like, hey, I, I saw you and I saw so many new faces that I've never seen before. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I got so excited and like, there's new people here, or at least I think there's new people here. I don't know, it was the coolest thing and I cried all night and that same night I actually did uh, The Last of Us Part 2 live stream. I live stream um, the game and it was one of the most incredible live streams I have ever had. Um, you guys were so freaking sweet. I did have donations on that stream, which I've never had like, like that before and I'm not saying I ever want that out of any of you guys. I want you guys to spoil yourself. but for one moment I felt like a, a genuine true streamer. I felt like I was one of those streamers that I've always watched every single day and it was the most coolest feeling ever. It was amazing and it just felt so good to talk to you guys because you guys were the sweetest people ever and I know it may not seem like much but I hit 32 viewers that night on that stream and I never had that many people on my streams before and it was just the most incredible feeling to see 32 people watching me live playing a game that I love so much and I know that my video game content is not for a lot of people and I respect that. But I also wanna reassure you guys that even if you're not into video games, I'm not taking away the makeup aspect. Like I'm still sitting here putting makeup on, showing makeup, talking about makeup, but then at night I show you guys my other passion. So like it doesn't take away from the fact that I'm still doing makeup and still doing something that I love. I'm just being able to show you guys more than one passion. And I, and I really like that you guys are starting to become more open to it and it's just, such an incredible feeling and you guys are truly freaking amazing and I just I just want to thank every single person who has been on my live stream who's commented on my live streams who have donated to my live streams who just have been there supporting both my makeup dreams and my gaming dreams and you guys are just freaking kick-ass and I love you guys so much you guys clearly like literally blew me out of the water that whole night I just cried to Corey like can you believe that like not only were the comments so overwhelming and so beautiful but then the live stream happened and I almost didn't go live either I almost didn't go live because my anxiety was getting to me but I'm very glad that I did because I got to talk to you guys and I got to see new faces and it was just such a beautiful moment for me and it's something that I will never ever ever forget I'll never forget that stream also I don't know what I'm doing um I don't know what I'm doing um clearly I need to like fill this in because my brow is kind of like sparse right there and the glue is not really allowing that to happen. So I'm gonna get my pomade. I don't really know how well this is gonna go over, but I'm gonna get my pomade. <laughs> but yeah, so I just wanted to just take a moment to just thank each and every single one of you guys. And like, I know that a lot of guys, like I said, are not really into the gaming um, content, but I was really excited to post the video that I did with my husband yesterday. We did, I, well, I did a chit chat get ready with me where I put on my makeup and we talked about the new Last of Us episode and we talked about how it compared to the video game, what we thought, and it was actually really fun just to sit there and like talk with him and like have someone to talk to and it just made me realize that I wanna bring him more on my channel and I wanna do more stuff like that. Like Teresa and I are supposed to get together in a video coming up soon and I'm just really looking forward to it because it's kind of nice to like have someone else with you. It's engaging and it just brings a whole new level of creativity and excitement that I've forgot that can happen. And I just, I, I loved it. And I know, like I said, it's not everyone's cup of tea, but if you guys do want to watch it, you guys want to see my husband and me just sit there and talk about The Last of Us while I do put on makeup so I can combine both my video game love and makeup love into one, I would definitely really appreciate it, but don't ever feel obligated because again, I know it's not everybody's cup of tea. And I know people out there don't also want spoilers either. This looks like crap. Um, I supposed to fill my brows in first and then do the feather brow? Like I, uh, I don't, I don't like how this looks. It is extremely messy. Um, the glue is drying down and like making my, oh no. Maybe, maybe the, maybe the feather brow is meant for people who have like thicker brows, who have fuller brows. I don't know. I don't think it's necessarily meant for my brow because um, 
she's looking a little funky there. So I'm just gonna kind of clean it up as best as I can. <laughs> I don't like it. Okay, so in my stream last night, I told you guys I had some stories to share with you guys because this past weekend, um, I went to my first ever, um, this past weekend I went to my first ever chiropractor appointment for myself. Uh, I got Corey a chiropractor appointment for Christmas and so he because he has definitely some back issues especially with like bartending all day he definitely has some back issues so I got an appointment and we went to his first appointment on the 7th and he he loved it he absolutely loved it and he got so much you know work done in his back and he's starting to feel like definitely some differences and some improvements so somehow during that oh my god guys my brows look freaking horrible horrible that is just gee we're gonna deal with it <laughs> so somehow during his appointment he convinced me to go get um my back done and I was like okay I don't know how I got convinced I think it was like peer pressure because the doctor like the chiropractor and Corey both sitting there going you're gonna do it right you're gonna do it and I'm just like uh peer pressure yes you know like all I, all the eyes were on me they just kind of made the appointment and I realized that I could get suckered into peer pressure apparently uh, whether I want to do something or not, but I got suckered into doing it. And if you guys missed the first story, I talked about how the first time I went to chiropractor appointment with Corey, I had to use the bathroom. Unfortunately, I had dropped some kids off at the pool and that bathroom had no light, no light whatsoever in it. So I had to do it in complete, utter darkness, right? Well, we went back this past Saturday and it was my turn. Now, mind you, I had made sure that I had eaten nothing that would cause me to use the bathroom the day before. I was going to be like, I'm good. I'm good. And I woke up early just in case I need to use bathroom. I was like setting myself up for success. Didn't have coffee, nothing. I was like, I got this. I got this. We're going to have a very easy chiropractor appointment today. Everything's fine. And I was fine. I was fine at at first why 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 i don't how do people make this look so easy i suck at it <laughs> so okay so i made sure that i was good and whatnot and we were we were going to be there i was like okay this is this is i got this i got this everything's fine well right before we had to leave my stomach started to rumble and i was like you have got to be freaking joking me right now I was like, this is insanity. My stomach is starting to rumble. Why is it rumbling? I haven't had coffee. I shouldn't have to take kids to the pool right now. You know what I mean? But I did three times. And I was like, what the heck? My stomach is like now starting to really hurt. And I was like, oh my God, my, my stomach, AKA my intestines are really starting to hurt. Why is it starting to hurt? So I was like, you know what? Let me take a modium because I want to make sure that I'm I'm okay. I'm not doing this at the freaking chiropractor appointment. Where'd my brush go? Hey okay, guys, so it's been pretty cold, right? So I wear my jeans, my light jeans that are like my legging jeans that are like meant for boots. So I wear those because it's pretty cold. And I didn't want to just, I didn't want to wear my leggings. I feel like my leggings would have been a little bit too, not sheer, but not enough to keep me like warm because the high that day was like only 46, all right? And some of the Florida, Florida cold that just hits differently. So I was like, that's what I'm going to wear. And I put that on and I'm like, okay, cool. We're good to go. Good to go. I was like, this is great. And my stomach stopped hurting because the modem kicked in. I was like, okay, cool. This is going to work out beautifully. We get to the chiropractor appointment. We're there. We're waiting in the waiting in the waiting room, whatever. And I'm just sitting there and I'm like, all right, you know, um, everything's good. I feel good. And, and I'm sitting there and I was like, what was that? What, what was that? And Corey looked at me and goes, you okay? I was like, yeah. I was like, ah, I just, I felt a sensation. I'm, I, I felt a sensation. I was like, okay, I don't know what that was. That felt like a familiar friend that was going to visit me. And I was like, hmm, I felt like she was knocking on the door there for a second. I could be tripping. So we get called back and he's asking me questions and he puts me on this little machine, kind of like seeing like where my issues are lying, whatever. So we go through that whole process and I'm going to go into, um, I'm going to go into be a doll right here. I'm going to put that in my outer corner. I'm going to go in with the new bling brushes. I'm going to go in the new bling brushes ice queen collection. You guys can use code Allie. Save you guys 10% off. Um, but so we get, we are, we're used, you know, tech testing my back, seeing like where the issues are lying. Everything's like working perfectly at this moment. And then he's like, all right, I'm going to need you to lie on your stomach. I had to lay on this bed and I need you to lie on your stomach. And I was like, okay, cool. No worries. Put my head like this little slot. And, um, he goes to like, see, like put his hands on my back to like crack my back and get like that all aligned. 
he did that and i just heard like someone make this like really loud gruntle oh like just come out of their body and i was like who the hell did that like what was that noise and it happened again and i was like what the heck and then i realized that noise is coming out of me like i made this really odd like Ugh, like I don't I, I couldn't even reenact and recreate that noise if I wanted to and I literally lifted my head up and I said I'm so sorry was that me and the chiropractor laughed and Corey goes yeah what was that and I said I don't even know I can make that noise like I, that is so embarrassing it's just like when he went to push on my back and crack it, it it just came out it just came out and I was like you have got to be kidding me it was the weirdest loudest gruntiest moan noise that I've ever heard in my life and I was so freaking embarrassed like I cannot believe that noise just came out of me like what the heck so then he's like okay I need you to roll on your back and then I need you to like kind of like turn your body so that we can get like our hips in a certain angle so I can go to crack your hips and I was like okay so we go to do that and he twists my body in a certain way and I feel like gas bubbles starting to get pushed out and I was like oh dear god this man's gonna make me fart and I was like I'm not about to fart with my legs like him right there like pushing down on me he craps my he he craps he cracks my hips and again that noise just comes right out of me and I'm not gonna lie the hips were a little painful I was surprised about that and he said oh wow your hips really need that and I was like clearly and I kept apologizing for the noise that's coming out of me and he's like no you're okay and I was like no no it's really embarrassing because I'm, I'm 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 not doing it it's just my body's doing it so he cracks both hips and I feel like little gas bubbles and then I feel and this sensation again and I was like you no 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 <laughs> no no. Well, then he goes to lay me on my back and he's like, I need to show you how to do proper stretches for your, for your calves, for your thighs, because your thighs are really tight. And I was like, well, I've been working out a lot. So like my, I'm doing a lot of squats and, you know, um, sumo squats. I've been doing like a lot of jump, jumping jacks and whatnot. I've been doing a lot of workout. And so he's like getting me in position to stretch my legs and like lift my legs up high. And then I recognize that sensation. And I said, oh, no, no, no. No, no, I, I feel feel like I'm peeing there for a second. And I said, you have got to be out of your damn mind. I'm going to go into the shade love letters right here. I said, you have got to be out of your damn mind. I am, I am not doing this right now. I'm not doing this. Well, sure as shit, he's stretching me up there and his foot's like, his face is right next to my stinky ass old Converse's that I've had for like 10 years, never changed them, fucking like freaking dirty as crap, right? He's right in there face to face. And I feel right at that moment he lifts my leg up a massive almost like contraction that i was like <sighs> and i should take a deep breath and i just had to breathe and he's like oh that's a really good stretch right i'm like mm, it's amazing not because of the stretch but because i'm literally fighting for my life now because i realized oh dear god my friend decided to visit me at this exact moment i'm wearing my jeans my legs are spread picture it i'm still starting to ensue and i'm just like oh Oh, let's hurry this up. Let's hurry this up. So he continues my stretch. I'm praying to God that I do not, do not show. I do not leak. I do not show because I'm wearing a little tiny thong. I'm not wearing anything else besides that. You know what I mean? I'm not wearing any type of sort of like protection because I didn't think that she was visiting today. I thought she was coming in a couple more days. Didn't think she was going to choose to visit right at that moment. And then it clicked to me why my stomach was hurting. And I was like, oh. <laughs> makes sense that likes to happen too at the same time they worked hand in hand together so I was like seriously like you've got to be kidding me and Corey can see something in my face he's like you okay he's like yep everything's great and he continues to stretch and he shows me how to do like my neck stretches and stuff like that and I was like perfect when he finished me up I was like are you okay if I step out of the office for a second and Corey's like yeah you, you okay I was like yeah I just have to go make a phone call I didn't have to make a phone call. I just wasn't about to tell this chiropractor what I was about to do. So I go out to the lobby and I was like, I'm going to go use the bathroom. Is that okay? And they said, yes, that's fine. I walk to the bathroom and thank God, because I think any a few more minutes, it would have just been over for me. I think it would have been very obvious what was happening <laughs> and it would have been embarrassed. So of course I go to the, to the dark stalls again, because once again, those stalls are turned off and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to feel my way around. I know my body well enough to know where the hole is and I go to try to clean myself up. I'm not being able to see what I'm doing. So I'm just guessing I'm cleaning myself up. I could have been wrong in how I was cleaning myself and and like cleaning my, you know, situation down there. And I'm like, okay, cool. I'm secure. It's in. I totally papered the heck out of myself, like down there. You know, I totally papered the heck out of my panties because like what else am I going to do? I'm out. 
And so I was like, okay, cool. I go back in the office and Corey's finishing up his appointment and whatnot. And then we have to go land this machine. And it's this machine that like puts like, uh, then, like then we have to go lay on this machine. It's like a hot and cold machine where it's like they put like almost like a thousand cell phones on your back that's like buzzing. It's the weirdest almost painful sensation but like I kind of enjoy it at the same time so they did that and I'm laying there Corey's like so what happened so I told Corey what happened and he's like oh my gosh I was like I know and then like I asked Corey like any wife does I when my thing was done I spread my legs and I was like can you see anything do you see anything he's like no I don't you're good I said okay cool we're gonna have to go home after this gonna have to change he goes okay so let me see this bathroom of yours that you've been telling me it's been light lights off so he walked in I said oh my gosh you're not lying the lights are off I said I told you I opened up the stall doors I said look there's no light switch whatsoever I've been doing this all in the dark and he goes you mean this light switch over here and I said what light switch and he goes, the one that's by the main bathroom door. There's one light switch by the main bathroom door. He flicked it on and all those, and the two stalls lit up. And I was like, what the heck? Why is the light for the two stalls at the very entrance of the bathroom? And then you have to walk in, there's a whole sink, trash can area, and then the two stalls are over here. But the light switch activates those. I had no clue. So I have been doing my business in the dark that entire time, not knowing there's a light switch at the very front of the bathroom that I have to pretty much activate. So he was a lightsaber. He was a life, he was a lifesaver. And we obviously had to stop by home because we had errands to run that day. Took care of my business and I was like, okay, cool. Let me quickly do my other eye guys. I'll be right back. Okay, so I just want to let you guys know that I think this palette is not that great. Um, typically I really do love ColourPop palettes. But I don't know if you guys can tell, um, I had to go back in with glitter glue to put on top of this because these are their like super shock shadow formula. And for some reason, these shades are like not wanting to stick on the lid whatsoever. They're just kind of like, you know, disappearing. So I did have to go in with glitter glue and it's just getting like really cakey and creasy and kind of like building up and it's just not wanting to deliver the pigment. And it just doesn't really look that good. Like, especially like right here, if it's like caking, creasing in, it's like definitely globbing together. I did lay down, like I said, I did lay down that glitter glue right on top. And I did the same thing over here. This one looks better, but this one just kind of looks like crap. So we're just gonna ignore it. It is what it is. It's also how these videos always end up going for me. So I'm not even surprised. So for um, primer today, we're gonna go in with the up to 24 hour matte setter. This has a 1% LHA and salicylic acid. This grips makeup, it has no shine and skin looks rebalanced over time. This is from L'Oreal. And L'Oreal does make my favorite drugstore foundation, which is the L'Oreal 24, um, 24 hour infallible pro matte foundation. I love that one. So we're gonna give this a go. Hopefully this will be really good. Like I said, this is one of the new shelves I saw at um, Ulta. Also, that looks like something else. Okay. So, ooh, 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 that's very, oh, ooh, that's very strong in fragrance. Okay, I wanna give you guys a heads up if you are very sensitive to fragrance. This is extremely strong. It smells like, almost like a strong perfume spray. If you guys know, if you guys have never tried, Patrick Star has their one size mattifying like primer, um, mattifying, um, mattifying spray, and it feels and smells just like hairspray. It always bothers my nose. This is the exact same thing. Ugh. Okay. So like I said, I could go in with the Maybelline or the Revlon, but I wanna put this to the test later. I really wanna try out the NYX Blur. This is a blurring tint foundation. I got the shade Light Neutral, so I hope this works out for me. Um, this is a medium coverage. It has matte, matte blurred finish. And so many of you guys told me in my comment section I should actually give this a try, that a lot of you guys actually really do like it. So we're gonna try it out because you guys told me to, and I'm gonna to listen to you guys. So <clears throat> anyway. To continue our story, the very next day we decided to go, the very next day we were going to the Highland Games. If you guys don't know, I'm absolutely obsessed with Scotland and it's my dream place to visit and like number one, my number one dream place to visit in the entire world. I'm dying to go there. And um, so we were going to the Scottish Highland Games. We go there every single year. This looks very full coverage, by the way. We go there every single year. It happens every January and hmm, doesn't really have a smell. So, ooh, whoa, that's a skin tint. No freaking way. What? I need to take my earrings off because that's going to get in the way. So we go to the Highland. So we're on the way to the Highland Games. We go there, like I said, every single year. It's where they pretty much do like all the um, people come out and they compete like they did back in the back in the day for Highland Games. You see all the bagpipes performs. You see everybody, you know, you know, walk for their clans. You see dog shows, food, drinks. It's a good time. I love it. So we were on our way there and now this takes place in like a big park. So like a, like a state park, right? So they don't really have like 
public bathrooms. They have porta potties. I'm gonna be very real with you guys, and some people may not, might not agree with me on this. I absolutely hate porta potties. I am that person. I will refuse to use a porta potty. I rather like pee right outside of it. I do not want to use a porta potty. It is so unbelievably gross to me. I literally gag every time I'm th in there. I don't know why. I just I physically can't handle it. So I was telling Corey on our way there. Hey, let's not go get Starbucks because I don't want to have to use the bathroom. Like Starbucks doesn't make me poop, but I just don't have to pee. I don't have to do anything, right? So we decided to just go to the race track and I got a Red Bull. Now I haven't had a Red Bull in almost two months. I've been really good about cutting that down and only having like one caffeine beverage a day. So I've been really good about not having any Red Bulls, but I decided to just have one because I haven't had one in almost two months. I was like, okay, cool. I'm gonna be good about this. So we go to the racetrack, we get the Red Bull and I get a little snack and whatnot. And we're on our way there. Excited for the good day we're gonna have. And we're talking, we're jamming to music, having a grand old time. We get there and it is freezing. <laughs> the high was only 45 and you know, we don't really do well with cold weather here. At least me and Corey don't. I'm a born Floridian. <clears throat> so I'm sorry, I'm trying to look at the mirror. So once we get there, we walk in, I was like, oh my God. And Corey goes, what? I said, I have to pee. He's like, are you serious? I said, nope, I'm joking. I really do have to pee. I was like, what the heck? I barely drank my Red Bull, but because my friend decided to visit, you know, I have something entertaining her up there. You know what I mean? So it, it creates less space. So I was like, oh my God, I have to pee. And he's like, what are you going to do? And I said, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't think I can hold it. So I was like, okay, maybe, 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 just maybe they will have actual bathrooms. Like here's me hoping, wishing, praying that they will have actual bathrooms. Uh, spoiler alert, they don't. So we go to the porta potties that no one was at yet. And I was like, okay, there's no one here. And he's like, okay, have fun. And I'm wearing multiple layers because it is freezing, mind you. So I'm wearing leggings, jeans, three sweaters. Like I am completely decked out because I was freezing and I get to the bathroom like the porta potty and I'm standing out there going <sighs> like tears tears are like starting to fall in my eyes because like I, I can't I can't do this I it can I can I just pop a squat somewhere I will gladly pop a squat somewhere you know what I mean like no hesitation um before I finish that I just have to say this is really surprising to me because this does not seem like this is a like skin tint. This looks 100% like a full coverage mascara. I also look really scary. I do apologize from the, I have, it's almost like a yellow tint, but when it comes to drugstore foundation, you're only limited on what you can get. This is supposed to be neutral, but I can definitely say this is more on the yellow side, not really neutral to me, but um, you can definitely see that yellow tint there. Okay, so anyway, um, we're gonna go in with the um, Makeup Revolution. This is the IRL Filter Finish Soft Matte Concealer. I really did enjoy the foundation. I know I'm not the biggest fan of Makeup Revolution. You guys know about that, but um, I'm gonna try their drugstore complexion products at least, cause why not? So I open the stall door and I'm like, okay, don't breathe. Don't breathe. And I realized how incredibly small porta potties are, by the way. Like, you barely have any freaking space to move around, do anything in there. And that's when I saw they have like a, like a, a urinal on the side, like at the porta potty. And I got the shade C2. Uh, I don't know if this is gonna be my right shade. Um, so I saw they have like a urinal on the side. And I was like, man, if only I had one of those like cups, like those funnels that they created specifically for like females to do this with, that'd be so much easier. But I had to undo my layers and I proceed to have to find a way to squat over said toilet all the while freaking out like internally my heart's pounding I'm like you just gotta, you just gotta do it you just gotta do it so I started to do like this really weird like weird like squat motion I don't know what I was doing but I barely have space to move and I pop over what I think is the toilet and I start to, you know, pee. And then I hear like a noise. And I was like, what is that? I look down and I'm hovering just over it, but not enough over it. So like, I'm kind of like being that person. And I was like, oh my God. So I go through, I stop my flow. And I was like, this is so gross. I had to like look back and like look down. And when I look down, you could just see, oh, he's making my stomach punch right now. Just talking about it. You could just see like the blue nasty water with like toilet paper and like just nastiness. And I immediately was like, mm -hmm the whole time like oh my god just pee just pee 
and I pushed so hard. I've never pushed that hard in my entire life to pee as fast as I can. And all the while, I'm literally dying on the inside and like I'm freaking gagging. Luckily, it didn't smell. I was very impressed it didn't smell, but I was also like, you know, one of the first people there that morning, so maybe that's why. And I'm not kidding. I literally was pushing so hard and I was just like praying to God, like, please, please just let this be it. And of course I take the longest freaking pee in my entire life. Like, why would I not? Right. So once I'm sober, I had to do that weird crab walk back to like standing up and like kind of moving us forward. Cause you're given like two feet between the door and the seat. Like you're barely given any freaking room to move. And I'm like, okay, okay put my clothes on and I was like, oh my God, like the toilet paper is like, I need to get, to get out of here. I threw that door open, which I feel bad about because there's an old lady next to me. I guess didn't realize that she was going next. So I'll scare the sh sh crap out of her. I almost said a curse word. I'm getting in trouble for that. <laughs> scare the crap out of her. I didn't mean to. And I like ran to where they have like the sinks right next to us. And I washed my hands so much. And I was like, literally like, whoo, like washing my hands. I was grabbing hand sanitizer, squeezing the crap out of it, washing my hands. And I was just freaking out the whole time. And Corey saw me and he's laughing because he sees how much I'm reacting to this. He goes, you know, it's really not that bad. I was like, you do it. He goes, I did. And I was like, well, it was just traumatizing to me. So we had that moment and I was like, I'm not drinking anything at all today. Luckily I really didn't because I was like, I don't, I don't know why I've never had that happen. Normally I can go 12 hours without having to pee. But for some reason, it's like my body knew, I cannot get this open. Somehow my body knew, it was like, you know what? It's time. So we had that and then we went to enjoy the rest of the festival, which actually turned out to be really, really nice. And then obviously we went home, took care of our dogs and then played with them, wait for The Last of Us, which was a fantastic show. So that was kind of my weekend. Um, great times. Um, someone I'll never forget. Uh, this looks like this is going to do a lot of kickback. So this is our soft focus foundation. It's a two in one loose and pressed powder is what it says. So it blurs and it mattifies. So I think on this side, you have the pressed version and on this side you have the loose powder version. That's what we're gonna use today. Um, I will say the under eye looks great. Looks, looks great guys. You guys see that? right there. Oh, wow. Look at that. That looks absolutely fantastic. Oh my God. It is everywhere. Okay. So I cannot believe it. Like literally it looks like, um, Oh my God. Makeup revolution. I cannot believe my under eye looks like that. That actually looks pretty bad. I'm not going to lie. At first I thought I was going to look nice, but it's actually looking pretty bad. It's like clinging to um, the wrinkles underneath my eye. It's actually mm, not looking that good. Okay. Well, we're going to set the face. I'm going to dip my um, powder puff into this and we're going to just set this right here. See how this sets. I will say this powder is pretty micro fine. So that's nice but I'm curious to see how it's going to cling to like the nook and crannies and like the imperfections on my face, like my fine lines and whatnot. I'm kind of curious to see how, oh, I feel like that scene in white chicks. I feel like all I have to do is this. Oh my God. <coughs> it definitely softly blurs the pores, but I already see separation on my face right here. My makeup is already separated and lifted. It's definitely clinging to every single imperfection. The makeup on my nose is already gone. Um, this is absolutely so freaking messy. Oh God, okay. Okay, so for um, bronzer, we're just gonna go in the L'Oreal Fallible Pro, the 24 hour bronzer. This is nothing new. I already had this, but I couldn't find a drugstore bronzer that was new to try. So I'm just gonna use this for now. Um, just because I don't have a new drugstore bronzer and I just want to make sure I'm still making this video like pretty much drugstore as best as I can. So we're just going to quickly lay this down. Blush. This is not a new drugstore make. Okay. So for blush, I did not buy this blush. This was actually gifted to me in PR. This is from Winky Lux, but Winky Lux is a drugstore brand and this is their blush right here. Now this is supposed to be their cheeky rose blush so it's a cream blush i already put on powder but we're gonna lightly kind of buff over it just to see if i can create something i will say these are so freaking beautiful 
Winky Lux does such a gorgeous job with like their packaging and it makes it like so hard to like want to create a look using their stuff because like it's just so visibly pleasing. We're going to try to use some of this today. Like I said, this is a cream product, but I'm going to take some of my, some of my brush and try to make it a blush if I can. And that is literally just taking away the product. So I give up on these videos. I literally give up. I swear guys. Oh my God. Okay. Well, we have a highlighter. <laughs> um, we're going to have to try these products out again because these are cream products. And again, I am not a cream person necessarily. I love, um, powders because I'm so oily, but we do have a cream highlighter. We're going to again use that today. Um, granted you're supposed to use this on top of like a liquid base, not a powder base. So this is probably going to be more of my fault than it is the actual products. We're going to have to test these ones out again, but I'm going to try to just make this the best that I can. I could do the best that I can because I don't know what else to do at this point. To finish off the eye, I'm just going to put the same color that I put on top underneath just to kind of, you know, round it all together. Just going to lightly place this right here. So for lashes, we're going to try the new Telescopic Lift. This is the Lift Lengthen and Volume Mascara from L'Oreal. Um, I saw this. This is on a display. It looks so cool. And I really do love drugstore mascaras. I feel like drugstore has some of the best mascaras out there personally. I freaking love them so much. So we're going to give this a try. I'm going to throw on some white liner from ColourPop. I'm just not going to show myself doing it because it's just me throwing a white liner. And then we're going to finish off the lips together and the setting spray as well. So let me go ahead and just curl my lashes really fast. Like sharp bristles. So I can really kind of get the lashes. Why do I sound like I'm asking questions? That is a very unique flat brush. I actually like this mascara. We're gonna keep playing around with it and testing it out and using it and like mix and matching with other mascaras. I actually really like that one. Okay, so for lips, I'm just gonna quickly go in with just the Jaclyn Cosmetics Bourbon Lip Liner because I don't have a drugstore lip liner. So I'm just gonna put this right here. Then for lipsticks, I'm gonna go in with the All May. This is the Go Wild Lipstick. I really do love this drugstore lipstick. This is nothing new. I just pulled this from my collection. I think it's just such a pretty like nudie lipstick. And I really do enjoy this one. And they still have this available at the stores. I did see this at Ulta called Go Wild. Check it out if you can for all my Such like a pretty like lipstick. You guys see that? Okay, then to top it off with a gloss, we're gonna go in with the Lifter Gloss. This has hyaluronic acid and this is from Maybelline. This is in the shade Crystal. This is part of their bronze collection. So I'm just gonna take this and we're gonna put this right on top. This kind of reminds me so much of the Truffle Gloss from Ofra. And oh uh, my god, it reminds me so much of the truffle gloss from, from Ulta from Ofra. This is nice. Oh my god, this gloss is exciting. That is probably the most exciting thing out of this review so far. <laughs> so to finish it off, I do have the hard candy. This is the long wear. This is the long wear setting spray. I actually did get this in PR from Hard Candy. I just never had a chance to like show it off. So I'm gonna use this. Okay, so let me go ahead and zoom you guys out and I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts on this. Okay, so to start off, I'm gonna start off with the brow gel glue thing right here. So touching my brows, my my brows do feel soft. They don't feel like rock hard or anything like that. So I do appreciate that, but I just don't know how to make these work for me. Like I just, I don't get it. Maybe do, do I fill my brows in first and then put this on? Like, what do I do? I don't understand how to make this work. If you guys can help me out, I greatly appreciate it because otherwise I don't care for the product because I just, I, I, I don't get it. <laughs> Okay, so we have the Prime Lab. This is the 24 hour um, primer. I will say this is so, so heavily fragranced. It smells like freaking like hairspray. It's a little, it's a little irritating, but I'm definitely gonna have to try this out. I kind of want to try this out under like my favorite, favorite like foundations ever to really kind of put this to the test. That's what I'm gonna do on my own, but so far I don't mind it at all. You can definitely feel a little bit of the grippiness to it, but the scent is pretty overwhelming. So I'm really gonna have to put this to the test. Now we do have the NYX Blur. Um, I will say that I was incredibly impressed with how full coverage this is. A little does go a long way, but it's also not wanting to stick on my face. I can definitely see it peeling and pooling. It's sitting into the corners of my nook and cranny. I'm sitting in the corners of my nose. It definitely pulls more yellow than it does neutral. So I don't really like that. And it's definitely kind of sitting more on top of the skin, but I'm definitely gonna have to play around with this more. Maybe this would be more for like days that I'm just wanting to throw something on. I'm surprised at how full coverage it is though. Like for a tent, it's really full coverage. I don't know. I'm gonna have to try this one again because I don't know. I'm, I am I don't know. That's how I'll put it as, I don't know. Then we have the 
Um, IR IRL filter finish from Makeup Revolution. I don't like this. You guys can clearly see right here, but it has definitely settled into all my fine lines under my eyes. It is just sitting right there. It's making my eyes look really wrinkly, wrinkly and baggy. I don't like how that looked. I don't like how it just like just went into the nook and cranny and didn't actually try to conceal anything. It's pretty much lifted off of right here. There's like not even concealer there anymore. So I'm not really a fan of that. Um, so this is definitely like a pass for me. Definitely don't waste your time. I would say the same thing for this freaking setting powder. The setting powder is supposed to be soft blurred. It is just literally sitting on top of my foundation. It is definitely um, not, it's definitely like making this like all cakey. It's lifted off of like my nose. It took the mascara, I mean, it took the foundation off and it just, it does not look good. I am not a fan of it. So that's something I definitely would not recommend. You do get the one side of the loose powder, one side of the pressed powder. And I just, I personally don't like it. I've come across other drugstore powders. I have not done this the way that, have not done my face like this the way this has. And I'm just, definitely not a fan um then we do have the two winky lust products now these definitely did not work for me only because i put these on top of powder bases so first we do have the cheeky rose blush this is going to be a beautiful beautiful like flower blush but this is also a cream blush so this deserves to be put on a cream base but you guys can clearly see i put this on a powder base so definitely pull the foundation off not its fault it's my fault but i didn't have any more drugstore options but i will say it is really pretty and it does blend out really really nicely super pretty color right very pretty and then we do have the foundation then we do have the highlighter right here again same concept this definitely needs to be applied on top of a cream base not necessarily the way that i did it but it is a really pretty foundation it is a really pretty highlighter as well though it's kind of hard to come off on camera but it is really pretty so i definitely would want to play with these more on a cream base than a powder base then we do have the ColourPop pretty please palette i don't really care for it so far i think there's definitely some really pretty colors in it but i feel like these super shock shadows right here are just not performing the way that i want them to like from a distance they look nice but when you actually look at them up close they have definitely cracked they have lifted they're just clinging on to patches on my eye they do not look good at all the matte looks fantastic the matte portion of the eyeshadow looks absolutely fantastic but these two just don't necessarily work for me this is also going to be a <clears throat> this is also going to be a um, super shock shadow right there so i'm definitely not a fan of this palette i probably would just stick to this row and beyond and kind of stay away from these ones just because i found that it just didn't work for me but you know what at least it wasn't too expensive then we also have the Telescopic Lift from L'Oreal. I actually really do like this mascara. I'm definitely gonna keep playing this mascara off camera and on camera. I think it's really incredible. I think it's really nice. I think it definitely does lift. It definitely has a really, I think it definitely does lift. It has that weird like flat shape. So it's kind of unique how that is. I will say this is, they're pretty tough bristles. So if you are kind of sensitive, just a heads up, the bristles are pretty tough, but I really do enjoy playing with this and I definitely want to see it more, play with it more to really kind of gather my final thoughts on it. And then <clears throat> lastly, and then we have the filter gloss. This gloss is incredible. I love it. Feels, it feels amazing. It's high shine. It's beautiful. It's very soft. It is very hydrating. It doesn't feel like it's sticking whatsoever. Love the scent, love the color, and I'm definitely going to be playing with this. It's just so reminiscent of the Over Cosmetics Truffle Gloss. I can definitely see like a comparison between the two. I think this is incredible. I'm going to keep using this one. And then lastly, we do the setting spray. I don't really have too much to say about the setting spray. It smells nice, but whether it works, we're going to have to really play, that, play with that. So overall we definitely had some hits and we definitely had some misses I, I i don't know how all these other content creators can do full face of first impressions and just have great products the whole time or do beautiful makeup looks like i i struggle i i don't i don't know what to do i always struggle in these videos and i don't understand why is it because i talk too much i just not talk i don't get it i don't get it <sighs> But at least I didn't break the bank with these products. So we're going to do another video coming up soon because I want to play with the NYX like hydro gel primer, um, jelly primer. I'm going to play with, you know, the foundation, the concealer. I want to play with the sage product right here and just wear more drugstore video, make wear more drugstore products, reuse some of these products again, really put them to the test again. So <laughs> yeah, I, <sighs> this was a rough one. That was a rough one. So Hopefully you guys liked this very long video. Um, let me know what you guys think down below. And if you guys have any more drugstore options you guys want me to check out, please let me know. I'd love to hear your suggestions. But 
yeah guys that is it for today's video guys if you guys enjoyed it please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up don't forget to subscribe my channel if you guys have not already because i do post four to five videos every single week make sure you guys head over to my other channel it's r for life you guys get to see my cool wonderful adventures my amazing husband Corey. and as always the biggest thank you goes to these beautiful wonderful paid to members you guys see right here thank you guys so much for everything and to my subscribers and viewers thank you guys so much for being here whether you guys like this video you guys thumbs down this video you guys subscribed you guys did not subscribe either way thank you guys so much for being here i love and appreciate each and every single one of you so well with that said guys i love you and i'll see you guys in my very next video bye hey guys what <laughs>